on voit même plus le pont quoi. On sait pas qu'il y a une rivière là, c'est hallucinant. Ouais. More than 120 people have died in the worst flooding in years in the capital of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Most of the fatalities occurred on hillsides that suffered from landslides during torrential rains. A three-day national mourning begins on Wednesday. Heavy rains fell overnight, December 12-13, 2022, causing flooding, landslides and sinkholes. Several communities in the city were affected. Dozens of houses and buildings collapsed and vehicles were left stranded. Wide stretches of highway were completely destroyed, including in Maitendi, a community southwest of the city, where a sinkhole swept away the busy N1 highway that connects Kinshasa with Matadi. The road will likely be closed for four to five days, the Prime Minister said in a statement. Martin Feulu said via Twitter this morning's torrential rain in Kinshasa. A city of anarchic constructions, caused our uncleaned rivers and our clogged gutters to overflow, unfortunately taking the lives of a hundred of our compatriots. Sincere condolences to all the families of the victims. More than 120 people died Tuesday in the worst floods in years that hit Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo, after heavy rains overnight, authorities said in an interim assessment. Kinshasa is located on the Congo River, and has experienced a population influx it has been huge in recent years. Many dwellings are cottage houses built on flood-prone slopes and the city suffers from insufficient drainage and sanitation. A major landslide occurred in the Mont Nafula mountain area, choking National Highway 1, a major supply route connecting the capital with Matadi, a port down the Congo River and a crucial outlet to the Atlantic Ocean. Thank you.